Allow me to share my screen with you. Show what letter. Okay, there's a bit of a confusion here. So let's do it again. Share screen. Yeah, there we are. A little confusion, that's all. So here we're contrasting two sounds that are very similar to each other. Excuse me, comparing two sounds that are very similar to each other, the, S -H, the CH and the SH. Um, in some countries or in some languages, one sound exists versus the other sound. For example, the CH in French sounds like the SH in English. I am not sure do they have an SH sound in, I mean, an SH word that are native to French. The CH uh, and the SH, the sounds are similar, but they aren't the same. Chair, share, chair. You the, 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 it's when you do the ch, the, your back teeth almost come together. Chair. When you do the sh, your back teeth don't come together. Share. And you blow out air. So. Let's look at it. Chair, share. Chip, ship. But you can hear the difference. Chatter, shatter. Cherry, sherry. Cheat, sheet. For people who speak Spanish, be very careful that you pronounce the long E, like the long E, and not like, oh, excuse me, and not like the um, short I, because then the word is different. And one, of, and one of the meanings, especially when you're talking about the SH and you pronounce it like the short I, that's a vulgar term in English. Cheese, cheese. Now you would think that you would think that those two words wouldn't have anything in common. The only difference between the two words is the uh, the ch is cheese and the sh is cheese. But both contain the long e. Chalk, 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 chalk. Chew, shoe. Oh my God. They look so different from each other, but the EW has the long U sound and the O has, that's an irregular pronunciation that's an irregular um, um, O, and it has the U sound. So it's chew, you, shoe, you. Chop, shop. Now they look like they would uh, rhyme with each other, right? But this, they don't look like they would rhyme with each other. And this, they don't look like they would rhyme with each other, but they all rhyme. If they're here, they rhyme. Cheer, sheer. Shit, and that's a vulgar term, shit. But this is the short I sound. So it's not, 
This S H E E T is sheet. This S H I T is shit. Which are two different terms, two different things. The acceptance in society very different from each other. Shin, shin. China, China. Now you wouldn't think those two words, well, maybe you would. China, China. That ah, uh, China ah, uh, and that China ah. Uh. So that ah uh, at the end and that er at the end have the same sound. The only thing, hmm, excuse me very much, excuse me, excuse me. The only thing that doesn't have the same sound is the CH for China and the SA for China. Chai, shy. Cheek, chic. Let's do this. I don't have to keep, there you go. Batch, bash. Crutch, crutch, crush. Ooh, that's hard. Crutch, you have a crutch. Or you use someone as a crutch, crutch. And then to crush someone is to destroy someone. Ditch, ditch, dish. I think now that I'm pronouncing it, I think that the CH and the SH, it's difficult when it's in the beginning of the word. And maybe when it's in the word, in the middle of the word, but it seems really hard to distinguish, especially if you're not a native speaker, when it's at the end of the word, ditch, dish. Switch, swish. I'm telling you, it's difficult that to get my tongue around the SH after I've said that CH. But most time people aren't reading lists of SH versus CH. So that difficulty is artificial because what I'm doing here, um, reading um, when the word ends or begins with a CH versus an SH, excuse me, is um, artificial. Witches, wishes, that was hard. Which, wish, no, that's not too bad. Hatch, hash. Watch, wash. I've always had problems with this one. For some strange reason, I've always had problems. Um, I said, did you say watch or did you say wash? Which one is it? And the person would have to repeat. Well, I said, wash your clothing and watch the children. Match, mash. Leech, leash. That was hard to say. Leech, leash. I had to say it twice so I can make sure that I make a full distinction between the CH and the SH. And the reason I'm letting you see this instead of editing this out is that I want you to see that even for an English speaker, sometimes this is not the easiest. It's not the easiest to not only to distinguish, but to actually say. And I think it's important that they, um, that non-native speakers don't think, well, if you speak English, you can just do this. No, sometimes it's hard. So you, so you, this is when your ears come in, you go, no, I didn't say that quite right. Accomplish. 
accomplice, see, I said it incorrectly, accomplice versus accomplish. Now, what I'm distinguishing here is the S sound, not the S written, but the S sound from the S H sound. Now, most of the time, no, I was going to say most of the time when I say S H sound, it's usually with the S H, but not all the time, because there's whole there's a whole set of words that contain that C H, and the sound is S H. These are words that come from French. I'll give you one example. Um, Chevrolet. Chevrolet is not S-H, it's C-H. But there are a whole set of words that came into English from French and it's written with the C-H, but the sound is S-H. I have those words, we'll look at those. So this is accomplice, accompl no, accomplice, accomplice, accomplish. Ooh, that's not the easiest. I'm not even sure that I said it so that it could be completely understood. Seas, shoes. She sees. So I'm saying she, S H E, sees the man. That is very close. It's really minimal. That is very close. Saying it sees, S E E S versus she's. That is very close. Cell, like your cell phone. I find it easier if I say it more in context. Your cell phone shells on a beach. There I find it easier. I find this easier if I say like in context so I can see it in my head. I can pronounce the difference. It's not so difficult. Cell phone shells on a beach. The pie crust he crushed his opponent. Yes, saying it just crushed, crushed. I can do it, but it's much more difficult. But if I say it in context, no problem. Pie crust and he or we crushed our opponent. He's a very crass person. They crash, no, we crash the car. If I do it in context, do it in context of a sentence, no problem. Crash, no, he's a very, they are a crash and crash. Fist, this is your fist, All right? So I'm doing it in context. This is your fist right here. I fished yesterday. Whoa, that was difficult. I fished yesterday. Or I went, no, I can't say I went fishing because the word is fished. And that T in fist, Sounds like the E D in fished. Gas, I put gas in the car. I gashed my face. I gash my face. I hurt to the point where I put like a hole in my in my face. The gash. Mass to go to mass. 
mass and to mash. I like mash. I want to mash. No, I want to mash, mash the potatoes. But I have to do it in context. Otherwise, I'm not able to make the distinction clear enough. That's interesting. Irish, no, I, Irish, Irish is uh, my next door neighbor. She's Irish. Whoa, I don't think I made that distinction. I could do it if it, if I pronounce it like they do in Spanish, Iris. But to pronounce it like we do in English, Iris, Iris, there it is. Iris is my friend. She is Japanese and Irish. No. It's funny what you do when you're not aware of it. I wasn't aware that I that it was difficult until I started doing these cards orally. I wasn't aware that I would find it. I, I wasn't aware that I found it difficult between the S and the SH. <laughs> C, she, no, that's not bad. C, she. Bells, ding, 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 da, ding, da. Belch. Now, we're talking about making the distinction between the Z and the CH. Make sure, yes, that's right. So we're talking about making the difference between the Z sound, I'm sorry, not the Z itself. Well, sometimes you'll see the Z, but the Z and the C, Z sound and the CH. Bells, ding, dong, ding, belch. Ch, ch. But of course you don't make it that explicit. Cleanse, clench. Now I find it easier to distinguish between the Z sound and the CH rather than the S sound and the SH. Does Dutch. No, no problem. I mean, you have to be careful, but I don't see it being problematic. Ease each. Ease. Each. Mars, March. Now, this is not problematic. The S versus the SH, ooh, yeah. The Z sound, oh, should I should not say the S sound versus the SH, yeah, a little bit difficult get a little bit tongue twisted there. And sometimes you're pronouncing two words the same. The C versus the CH, no. I don't, I don't, I, so far I haven't found it difficult. Now watch, when you say that, the next word is gonna give you difficulty. Parse, parch, no. Okay, rose, roach. Not only do I find it not difficult to say, I find it, easy to distinguish between a rose and a roach. Zoo, chew. Stars, starch. You, you can say that they're minimum pairs, but it's not problematic either to say it or to hear it and distinguish the sounds. Zest, chest. Isn't that funny? Tease, teach. Chain. Now we're talking about the, 
this is this a soft sound when um, let certain letters are soft and the phonetic spelling is a D Z. It's like this. So you have chain, chain. It's a soft sound, but I don't find it difficult making the distinction. Chain, Jane. No. Cheer, jeer. Chill, Jill. I find in the beginning that I'm saying, oh, I'm not gonna make distinction. And as I say the word, it comes out with the J sound rather than the CH sound. But look at the phonetic spelling. Choke, joke. He joked on that, he choked on that joke. No, not difficult. Chunk, junk. But it is all in the same side, all part of the same area of the mouth, which is in the back. These sounds are being made in the back of my mouth. Etch, edge. Now the G sounds like the, the soft G sounds like the J. That's why phonetically is written the same. A lot of times, this is not always true. It is always true in, in Spanish though, because it's a rule. But a lot of times in English, when the G comes before and the soft, well, in Spanish, it's called the soft vowel E and the soft vowel I, the pronunciation of the G is ch. But that's not always true. Let me give you an example, because see, unlike Spanish where it's always true, it is not always true in English. Okay. For example, for the soft vowel E, you have the G, G-E-T, get, it's not jet, jet is G-E-T. It's hard, get, G-E-T. Then you have the soft vowel uh, um, I, uh, if you put the G before it, it's not give, it's g give. So that's why I say it's not always true. When one language, the, the rule is consistent. In English, it all depends on the word. It all depends on how people decide they want to pronounce it or the society decides how it wants it pronounced. Lunch, lunge. Batch, badge. Search, surge. Charm, sum. Ooh, I had a little bit problem there. That CH and the S sound, sum. First place, you don't pronounce the P. And that CHS, hmm. Hitch, his, his. Yeah, C H. So the S with the SH and the S with the CH. Mm, a little bit more thinking or hesitating when speaking. Chide, side. No, that wasn't bad. Chide, side. Cheese, seize. Mm, the S in cheese is spelled, is pronounced like the Z. But it doesn't look like they would spell, they would have anything to do with each other as far as spell, um, as far as pronunciation. How different they are pronounced, um, written from each other, but pronounced except for the CH and SH. That's what we mean by minimum pair. Peach, peace. Peach, peace. The two spellings of peace, and of course, they mean two very, very different things. Choke, soak. Chum, sum. 
chum sum. Look at the spelling of the one sum, S-U-M, the other sum, S-O-M-E. The S O both of them are important words. Chad, sad. Chad is sad. Cheese, cheese. Same, chain. This is going very long, but you're having three different types of pronunciation and they're not the easiest. Stretch, stress. Twitch, twi twitch, twist. Chili, silly. Cheek, seek. Not too bad. Latch, last. That's more Scottish mm -hmm. English, which is which last means a girl. Perch, purse. Ooh, that's very close. To say it is not that bad, but to hear it, it sounds very close. Coached, coast. An ed almost up like a t sound at the end. Beach, beast. And chair, share. Okay, I'm going, I'm really going very long. So my comments throughout should be helpful. But as you can see, some pronunciations and minimum pairs are easier than others, even for native speakers. So this is Corala Ficklin McLean. Welcome, W-Y-L-C-O-M-E, welcome.com. And um, thank you for visiting my platform and my webpage. Thank you for um, listening to the video and I hope you share it. And these videos more than anybody, for, more for anyone than, I mean, rather than just for a general population, I'm making it for ESL teachers, and I'm especially making it for ESL teachers who want to go abroad, who decided they want to leave this country and go live somewhere where they're not considered a problem, okay, when they're not considered a problem, uh, you know, Stephanie Perry, and um, going living abroad, there's a whole cadre of Black women who have decided to just, you know, then what is it, you can Flight versus fight, which is hard. You can either fight or you can just leave it all behind and walk away. But for those people who are influenced by uh, Miss Perry and you want to make enough money so you can take care of yourself, but not just live hand to mouth, these cars, especially if you've never studied English before. You never studied your own language before. You speak the language, but you don't study. You've never studied it. These cards, as well as all my cards, should be of great help to you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.